Hey guys, Randy here. I know in past videos I have mentioned Varroa mites. Mites had killed. Not managing the mite levels, killing mites. More hives for mites. However, I don't think that I have described to you the process of how you go to check what your mite count is inside a beehive, and that's what I'm going to do today. The first step that you'll want to do is after you've already gone in and grabbed a frame is check to make sure that that frame does not have a queen on it. Because nothing would be more upsetting than going through and checking for mites and come to find out that you killed your queen. Which, by the way, spoiler alert, this video is not for the faint of heart. I know that when I first did my mite check on, or an alcohol wash is what it's called, on my first hive, it was upsetting, it was detrimental, because you end up killing about 300 bees. I know that there are other ways that you can go about checking your hives for, for mites. All hives have mites. It just depends on what those levels are. One way is through powdered sugar. You kind of do the same thing. You get 300 bees, you put them inside powdered sugar and you shake it all up and then and then you, the, the mites end up falling out. It still rattles up about 300 bees. And then there's the alcohol wash, which I personally think is the most effective. I think that it really tells you what your mite counts are. However, you end up killing 300 bees in order to do it. And at first, when I first started, I did not want to kill 300 bees. I'm like, are you kidding me? But then when you ended up losing your entire hive, which in turn you ended up losing thousands of bees anyway, doesn't sound that bad and if you think about it the queen lays about 1500 eggs a day and then during the summer months they only live to be, to be about four to six weeks old anyway they work themselves to death so 300 bees isn't that bad if it means that you can save your hive so back to what I was saying you got your frame first thing you want to do is check to make sure the queen is not on that frame check the front check the back and then what you will want to have already pre-made is your alcohol wash, which I have this mite checker where the bees go in into this little container with a bunch of holes in it. And then that container fits into another container that has mostly rubbing alcohol and some water in it. And then what happens is, is once you get all the bees in there, and you swirl it around, don't shake it, you swirl it around, all of the mites fall to the bottom of the container. After you have made sure that the queen is definitely not on that frame, you want to make sure that you step away from the hive. Speaking from experience, I know it sounds dumb, but there was one time where I'm in my bee suit and I just want, it's my least favorite part of beekeeping. I hate testing for mites. So I was in a hurry and I had the, the I checked to make sure that the, the frame didn't have the queen on it. I had it hovering over the hive and I'm going through and I am doing my, my business of killing 300 bees and then some rubbing alcohol ended up sloshing out into the hive. So I know it sounds like common sense but when you're out there and it's your least favorite thing to do and it's hot you, you get a little disorientated. Anyway, so make sure that you step away from the hive and taking the container and just barely lightly touching the frame, just basically touching the, the bees as I go. You 
you want to make sure that you do this process very quickly. You don't want to take your time in killing the bees. Do it quick, do it swift. If you don't think that you've got enough bees, turn around the frame and then do the, the other side. Put the cap on immediately and then start swirling it. Put the frame back into the hive. The bees are going to be all kinds of pissed off and flying around you. Put the hive back together. Keep on swirling for a, a few minutes. Stop. Wait about a minute and then swirl it again. This, what happens here is that the alcohol is literally washing the mites off of the bees and then they fall into the bottom. I had checked it about May, so it was still pretty cool. It was about the beginning of the, or I think it was like the end of May, now that I think about it. It's still right around the beginning of bee season. There weren't any mites. What you do is you count the number of dead mites at the bottom of that container versus the number of dead bees. You divide the mites divided by bees and then that gives you the percentage of, of mites. However, in this scenario, I didn't have any mites at the bottom, and so there wasn't any math involved. But it is a, it is my least favorite thing to do, like I said, with, with beekeeping, but it should be done. Um, I try to do it monthly just to check to see what those mite levels are, and then if it is above a 3%, I will start my treatments. Even though it sucks, it is something that you want to do. It is something that you want to make sure that your bees do not have a high mite count, especially going into fall and winter because the bee population will go down, the mite population goes up, and if that mite population was already high, it causes this virus and it can easily wipe out your entire hive. That is all I have for you for today. If you have any questions about it, or if you have your own way of testing for mites, or if you just have any questions about bees in general, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I will catch you in the next video. I'm not seeing any, maybe one. Maybe one? And I think I've got a bee in my suit. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is how we calmly handle this. It's okay, little girl, it's fine. Oh man, don't get stung. And like you said, calmly handle that. You sure it wasn't sweat? I don't know, it's tickled my armpit. <laughs> it's hard to keep a straight face. <laughs> I don't feel right, this is weird. <laughs> Alright, I well. don't think we have any mites, hon. We murdered bees today. But it was for a good cause. It was to save their lives. And the lives of other bees around us, all around, all around us. Keeping control of your mites is not just for your hives, it's for everybody else's hives too.